Yeah, here we go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that's my girl. That's my girl. Are we gonna ride bikes together for like 100 yards? All right, that was a fun little ride. <laughs> so good to see you guys, yeah, man. Yeah. Let me give you an awkward bike. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Good to see you, man. Have another good trip, man. Yeah, yeah, be safe yeah. out there. Yeah. We'll see you down the road. Bye, Mira. All right, it is time for the Tahoe Twirl. We are setting out today from Dom's front door in Truckee, yeah. California, and we are gonna be heading down to Reno, Nevada, which is about 50 miles away. We're gonna do a bit of uphill, but mostly downhill. It is going to be much hotter in Reno, almost 100 degrees Fahrenheit, so we have packed our stringiest of string bikinis. And remember, this is a bike packing route, so 90% of this entire loop-de-loop -loop is off-road. And that makes us happy. If you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe. It helps me immensely. And if you're feeling generous, please consider supporting my Patreon. I will link that below. All right, it's party time. being out here slowly the ride has gone from fun single track trails that I know to sort of pleasant fire roads in the middle of this like weird pastoral al alpine landscape and it's pretty hard to believe that we're on the way to Reno I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this but if you eat a lot of cliff bars power bars any type of bar you get sick of them after a while but when you're really starving and hungry there's nothing like a cliff bar da -da 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 -da. Eat a Cliff Bar every day. <laughs> we are not sponsored by Cliff Bar, by the way. File this under things you should pay attention to. has just directed us right to a river. We started checking things, zooming in and out, and it's like, yeah, it looks like we have to go across this river. Go! Oh yeah. I figure since I'm in a river with freezing cold water, I might as well fill up some water, and I have a new toy. I usually use iodine. I've used iodine all my life to purify, but today I'm gonna try my new toy. It's one of these Steri pens, and it just blasts like UV light into the water kills all the bacteria, and you're good to go. So you just dip it in there, it turns on on its own, and then you wait for this light to turn solid green and you got purified water. Sounds kind of like hocus pocus to me, I hope it works. <laughs> I am a little out of practice, and I realized just now that I left my other camera up there when we were eating cliff bars. Because <laughs> I've never done this before. So I'm gonna run back I figured it might be faster to run. It wasn't too far away. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot my camera. Okay. <laughs> Where's my camera? This isn't good. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's my camera. There it is. Yes, <laughs> I got my camera. Yes. And I talked to this nice guy right here and he's gonna drive me back down to where I was. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is all our private property. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah. Are we allowed to be on the road? Oh, absolutely. Oh, okay, good. It's going to be pretty beautiful. Awesome. Enjoy Thank you so much, my friend. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Have a good one. You too. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that was awesome. See, sometimes when you make mistakes in life, you get to meet cool people like that guy, Gary. He said his wife has been on this land for generations. 
I made it back! Here we go. All right, dry land. We are heading up our first sustained uphill. It's a pretty good one. We're at about 6,500 feet right now. Probably gonna top out at 7,000. And on the bikepacking.com website, they give this route an eight out of a 10 in difficulty. And I think mainly because of the elevation change. On this entire route in 190 miles, we're gonna go up 19,000 feet, which is quite a bit. We're also gonna go down 19,000 feet. So that's awesome. There's a lot of Wild West history in this area. We just came upon a sign right here. It says the California Gold Rush dramatically changed overland transportation in the American West. Entrepreneurs built a vast network of new roads used by stage and freight companies to service the new mining communities. This is all back in the 1850s. This was a Hennis Pass Road, what does that say? Yeah, Hennis Pass. Hennis Pass, right here. We just dropped a lot of elevation and it is way hotter down here. We are fully in the desert and we saw this creek and we're like, yeah, we're jumping in. Oh yeah, that's cold. Yeah, this is like still snow melt just about. There are some times on a bike ride when it's totally worth riding in wet chamois. <laughs> right now is one of them. Cause we, we didn't want to offend the children. So we, we left our chamois on. <laughs> Have a good one, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye! Hey, slow down! <laughs> we have just sat down here in Verde, Nevada. We're in Nevada now. We started the day off in Truckee, which is California. Which is cool. And um, it is time for lunch, and we are starving. It's so good. It's worth a cold headache to just suck this down. <laughs> You got a head, cold headache? Uh, you have a headache? Yeah, I do. Do you usually drink Pepsi or Coke? Basically, my Coke and soda consumption is limited to hot days of bike touring. That's it. Yeah, me too. Dom, I don't feel so good. <laughs> How are you feeling, bud? Definitely surpassed my weekly allowance of grease and uh, saturated fat. The problem with stopping midday at a restaurant when you're on a bike tour is that you're starving and you eat too much and then you don't want to get back on your bike. When you, when you, and when you do get back on your bike, you're like in slow motion. <laughs> just rolled into downtown Reno and there is some Burning Man art here. One of my favorite installations. It's the words that spell out believe. And Dom, you were here a week ago. What was going on? Yeah, a week ago, this whole plaza was filled with maybe three or 4,000 people for um, a Black Lives Matter vigil. And it's pretty cool to see that all the signage and stuff has persisted. Um, what better sculpture to have to back a, a protest or a vigil like that? It's pretty amazing because we've all got to believe a little bit. Yeah, and I remember when this Believe sculpture was out in the middle of the playa at Burning Man. It was definitely my favorite. People were climbing all over it. It looks beautiful at sunrise and sunset. Hi, my name's Jamie. Uh, I am sitting in solidarity with the Black Lives Matter movement. I'm not from Reno, but I came here three weeks ago. Today is day 21 in order to participate in nonviolent civil disobedience, which is the most sustainable form of change. I've been sitting here every afternoon till evening since, uh, providing chalk and paper and people bring down their own signs. Now it's gone from three signs to perhaps uh, 125, hundreds of messages and chalk People love Reno, they love Northern Nevada, and uh, they really seem to support each other, uh, all walks of life. 
one gentleman insisted I take a nickel donation. That's all that he had. It was pretty fantastic. Um, I have experienced nothing but love uh, in sitting here and people wanting a better world. So you're giving people free water too? Water and fruit. Wow. That is so cool. This flag, the rainbow flag, is LGBTQIA+. The, um, it, this one is a transgender flag. It's blue, pink, white, pink, blue. And this one here is pink, purple, and blue, which is the bisexual flag. And I bought them on Amazon and we wrote Black Lives Matter on them because, well, no matter what we support, Black Lives Matter and that too. Originally I was going to try to make the trans flag, but yeah, but I, but I love colors too much. I can't resist leaving them alone. Throw in all those colors. Yeah. This is really powerful and I'm glad that it's here permanently and I'm glad that these these people are here guarding it and curating it and inspiring people to write their own messages. And just like Dom said, it's time for us all to believe, but more than just believing, it's time for us to take action. What can we do to make this world a more equitable place? The time is now. The time was a long time ago, which means the time is really now. Dom, why aren't we camping? Because we found something better. In the name of the Vagabond Inn, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot recommend it highly enough. It's $30, maybe even $40 cheaper than everywhere else in Reno on this uh, COVID Saturday. Yeah, we got a hotel. We're in Reno. We were cruising around. We're like, you know what? Let's get ourselves a hotel. So we carried all of our camping equipment just for fun today. It was practice tomorrow. We're gonna camp. We're gonna have Maybe, a, who a knows? Wil a wilderness hotel tomorrow. Wilderness hotel, who knows if we'll camp? This is an adventure, there's no rules. We're gonna do what we want, and it's, you know, beds are always a good thing, and I can charge by drone batteries, and I know you love that. 